I'm Lawrence Anderson, and I'm here with Rob from Front Row Live. Ooh, what about sunglasses? Give it the real. Damn, man, my stuff. style is not on point now. <laughs> what? My style is not <laughs> on point. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. No, you're killing it. Okay, hold on. Now I got to sit like this. Like, I got to show the shoe, you know? Like. <laughs> is this what we're going to do? Are we going to do this now? No, we're ready. I mean, I'm down to, I'm down to just so sit and chill like that okay. and do it. That this is the proper introduction, of Lauren Sanderson, here at Epic Hi. Records. Congratulations! Thank you. I'm. How does this work? You just can talk you on it, and then they hear it. So like, they can hear it better now. Yep. Then over, then over there. Yep. But can they hear me when I'm like this? Yeah, but then I just have to raise the levels okay. all the way up. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But you can still talk to me the way. I mean, whatever makes you comfortable. No, this is perfect. Cool. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're good. You are having, like, I, I've been here so many times to interview a lot of the Epic uh, Record artists, but you're the one that's been, like, this is your playground. Like, what? You don't, even, you don't even feel like you're nervous, or you don't even seem like you're nervous. You don't no. even seem like you're the new, like, artist here. You seem like you've been <laughs> here for a long time. Well, yeah, I, feel, I definitely feel like it's, like, family here. Like, it's just, like, it's my shit. Can I cuss? You can do whatever you want. Very good. It's my shit. <laughs> I was watching your documentary last night. Oh. Um, and I just feel like you're just well-rounded, you know, you're, that documentary seemed like you're a filmmaker as well. <laughs> um, like I was really like into it, listening Thank to everything you. you were saying and just watching everything you were saying. But you know, while watching this documentary, like it just seemed like everything in your life kind of just put itself in its place, mm -hmm. you know, just organically. 100%. Um, what was that like for you? I mean, growing up and you're doing, you know, all the things that you experience from you know the singing at an early age to being on camera to you know speaking in front of a crowd which scares the crap out of me <laughs> like and then now like you know you're you're doing performances you're releasing music you're on a major label like yeah. what is all that for you um i really just feel like i've just been huge on like just trusting you know where you are in life at every single point in your life and since I was a kid, my dad's always said, like, you become what you think about. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much just like, no matter where you are, no matter, no matter like what, what's happening, you have to question why, because, and you, and you have to just trust that it's happening for a reason, but you also have to realize like, how do I say it? I guess the best way to say it is anytime anything happens, good or bad, yeah. I ask why. Okay. And, like, I find the purpose in everything. Even when I don't know why, I just accept it. And it's, like, everything, when you when you act out of, like, love instead of fear, I think everything falls into place. Mm -hmm. Always. You know? Anytime I'm fearful, I just, I go after whatever that is. Um also, the quote, like, as cheesy as it is, your comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. Right. It's just, like, you can't stay in that in that same place and ask yourself why you're not moving forward. Right. That's yeah. true. That's a yeah. great point. Thank you. That's a great <laughs> point. And, and speaking of, you know, being uncomfortable, like, you went from, back to the documentary, you went from, like, having a meet and greet of four people to, like, going on your first tour, and there's so many people coming out to see you, to support you. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, what... How do you prepare for something like that um, when you go from, from practically no one there to, like, a sold-out show? I remember pulling up to that Taco Bell. That, that's where my first meet and <laughs> was. It was at a Taco Bell. And, damn, it was just crazy. Like, when I got there, I was shaking. I was so nervous. No one had ever been, like, sign my anything at yeah. this time. And I remember I got there and I walked in and, like, this girl had a quesadilla wrapper and a Sharpie. And she was like can you sign this? And I was like, y yes. <laughs> and we were just like, it was such a genuine moment for me too, because I just realized like, I meant to make a difference. And like, I could see this like light in their eyes, what I felt like, I don't know. I didn't know what it was at the time, but looking back, it was just like, I think people, people just want to feel like important and mm -hmm. they want to like, look at someone who's secure in themselves and secure in their life, even when, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with the label. I don't know what's going to happen with my new music. Right. I don't, and there's no, there's no promises in life. Like, I don't know. I could wake up tomorrow and be in a totally different mindset. Right. But 
the point is just like your mindset determines what your next step is and so now being in this shoe these shoes and like having this whole team supporting me being in interviews like this is everything i've ever dreamed of right and it's it's just like i feel like it's meant to be now yeah. you you got this kind of exclusive partnership with epic something that you know i don't hear too often um so you know being that this opportunity is laid in front of you like you you've said before like other people didn't work out because they didn't see your vision. Mm -hmm. What exactly is your vision? What is it that you want, you know, the audience to know when they get to know who you are? Yeah. Um, my vision is just doing whatever the fuck I want to do and like never feeling like there's limits to anything I do. Like if something in the industry is one way and like all the facts and everything says it should, I should do this or I shouldn't do this. Right. Like just to trust my intuition in every single thing that I do. And my my like if i could have one thing that my supporters know about like why i do what i do like i wake up every day and think about them like everything i do is yeah. for them and just to like just for people to know that like someone's rooting for you like there's so much obviously there's so much hate and like anger and just fear in the world and i think like just no like i know that i was born to tell stories mm -hmm. and to just be that energy for people. So I think like if there's anything I want them to know, it's literally just that I'm here for them. And I believe in any artist, any any human that they can do whatever they want. No ceilings for real. <laughs> there's literally no ceilings like yeah. we create our own. We create our own boxes. Man, inspirational for sure. You're still <laughs> you're still doing you're still doing like the public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> like through your music <laughs> now let's let's dive into your music you uh you know prior to connecting with epic records you did your own uh you released your own ep mm -hmm. um and you basically did it all um yeah. you self-produced it self-released it everything what was I didn't that ex produce it. you didn't produce it i had a i had a producer in london named earl saga okay he would send me a bunch of beats but i wrote the whole thing and yeah i was my own manager like I always tell the story of like I was a fake manager, <laughs> like typing to venues, being like, "Hi, I have this artist, Lauren you Sanderson." Do it. Yeah. You so do it. I I don't know what it is. Like I think I was just like born with this like entrepreneur bubble in me that's just like always bursting. Like I always <laughs> want to just like fucking conquer shit. Yeah. Yeah. And when I first signed, the label was just like going crazy because they were just like just be an artist like <laughs> we got you trust us like you don't need to send emails anymore you don't need to check venues and whatever right. just make music and be creative and like that's all we need you to do but i don't think that's gonna happen i feel like this <laughs> this side of you is just gonna be there no matter what yeah, no matter how crazy will. the audience is outside waiting for you to you know hit the stage yeah. or you know no matter what kind of tour you're on yeah no it totally will and i I don't think like I'll ever neglect that side of me. When it comes to my art, I'm so picky and like I do have this exact vision like like I said like you said like it's just like I know what I want mm -hmm. and you know, I'm learning how to trust my team more because like you can't do everything by yourself. Right. And and when I signed, like I knew that there there came to a point where like, if I didn't say yes now, when was I going to say yes? When right. was I going to let somebody else be my manager and be my team and help me promote and help me with music videos and blah, blah, blah? Because I was packaging, like, so much merch that I wasn't going to the studio type shit. Yeah, you were wasting time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like, was neglecting my art to be an entrepreneur. And, I like, you just yeah. can't do both sometimes, um, at least not by yourself. Right. So now that I have you know epic and a good like management team i'm just like thriving and finding other ways to do what i do <laughs> yeah <laughs> well well now like you're you're about to release new music or you've been working on new music yeah. um your debut track with with epic was a collaboration with pmb rock yep. which is it's huge yeah. you know tell me about this this single and you know tell me about going into the studio and creating this track and let alone, you know on top of that working with PMB. Yeah. So, it's actually funny. I wrote this, I wrote it and made it in Indiana. And how it came about was I actually released it independently without mm -hmm. PMB. Um it was on my EP Spaces right. in, in July 2017 and right when I signed, we all kind of collected collect collect 
collectively agreed to pick one song and that one song that like stood out the most and represented me the best from spaces and add a new like flavor on it flavor i don't know why i said that word I don't like are that. you hungry <laughs> um but yeah so so it was cool because i i uh the beat was made by earl in london when i was okay. still getting all those beats and then when i got here i actually went in the studio with fki first he did a lot of stuff like with post malone and he's he, his shit is just crazy um but we made a feature slot together mm -hmm. and i didn't know who was going to be on it honestly i i kind of just tr like threw it up and just trusted like whatever whatever mm -hmm. happens and um i guess like first and pmb had a session together and first was like hey ch like check this out what do you think and like a couple days later i just woke up one morning and it was like and the song was in my email and i clicked on it and like his verse just right off the bat <laughs> blew me away and i loved it and yeah. Um, and I just, I knew right away, I was like, yep, that's it. Now, now that, now that you gave that, that song, like, a second life, um, and now that you're about to release new music through yeah. Epic, like, how do you feel you've evolved in the last year or so? Where do you feel you're at? Man, I, I feel like the biggest way that I've evolved, honestly, is in my mindset of, like, coming out of the underdog mentality, mm -hmm. because I've always wanted to be the underdog. I don't know why, I've just always wanted to be, like, so far left of center and just like be in my own niche whatever and i think like now i'm embracing like the weirdness but i'm making it on a bigger scale and i'm not afraid to like i don't know why but like i didn't want my songs to be on the radio i didn't want to be like a big big artist yeah. i just wanted to be like i have my supporters and my like I want to be exclusive. Yeah, ex like almost just like my own shit. Yeah. But now like I've found a way to be my own shit and still be like radio and like I don't even know if, if it's radio. Just it's big. Yeah. Yeah. And just like my mentality is no longer like I want to be the small Indiana girl. Like I want to conquer the world. And now I'm like letting myself do that. Well, now it's going to happen. Like yeah. whether whether you're ready or not, right it's going to happen. I'm What's telling today? you guys right now. What's today, guys? today is... The 18th. <laughs> the 18th of Fe May April. April. February, May. We you, don't know. you have been locked up in the studio for the last eight <laughs> <I> months. <guess. laughs> this, um, this was no joke. So yeah, what well, it, it's April 18th, and we're calling it right now that we're gonna conquer the world. All right. What once, else? Once the debut album drops. When? Once the debut album drops. Well, let's let's ex let's like set an ex expectation. Let's do that. What are we gonna like? What do you think is gonna happen? I think you're just gonna take over the world. I think that's what it's gonna be. I think the debut album is gonna drop, and then. When? Damn. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'm gonna. When when is the debut album dropping? The last time someone interviewed me like that was Backstreet Boys, and that made me nervous. <laughs> I'm so honored. <laughs> okay. So this is this is an exclusive. Well, we don't know. Right, so we don't maybe, know when I'm it's dropping. Gonna, okay. It's gonna shoot for like July, maybe summertime. Album. Album, possibly. Damn. We're going EP. Okay. Here. Okay. We're going EP. We're going back to EP. Um, I w I don't want to make an album until the whole world is like, where's the album? I just want to. Well, I'm telling you right now, where's the album? Okay. I'm just not the whole world. I'm not at that capacity Close. yet. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm going to do EP this summer. I cannot state a month, but I can say this summer. And then album, whenever, whenever, I don't know when. Yeah, it's ready to be released. Yeah, but it, it's going to get a Grammy. There we go. We're yeah. just we're just making moves here. <laughs> we are making moves here. For 2019, it'll, make, it'll hit the we, Grammys? I don't know. We'll see. It, but whenever it is, <laughs> it'll get there. And I would love to win Best New Artist. I don't care what year, however that happens, but I, I really want to win Best New Artist. This is coming from someone that didn't want to be heard, yeah. didn't want to be on the no, radio. I would have never <laughs> wanted that. I, was, I seriously would have never wanted that. I don't know why, but I just am in a different headspace now. I'm, yeah. like, ready. I feel like also, like, not to name drop, but someone that I really, like, looked up to, too, is Kaylani. Okay. And I think for a long time, like, she was in... I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong, but I think she was in this like phase of really wanting to be like her own niche too, like her yeah. own little whatever. And then now like I feel like she's opening up and like 
I can see it happening for her. Like, I feel like now she has dreams to, like, just be herself and, and conquer the world. And, like, she's just open for Demi. And, you know, I think she's just, like, open to, like, being on top now. Yeah. Top, top. Now you did mention you're, like, in a completely different headspace now. Yeah. So how does that how does that transition to your to your writing the way that you write your lyrics the way that you you know create your music today mm -hmm. um honestly um i think the biggest thing the biggest difference i don't know if there is one actually i think the sound is different because i'm ready to you know but be i don't know well, i feel like this this say. last song that you played yeah. your voice sounded different I, I heard I heard the new new yeah but probably because it was I like know why. probably because it was a slower song oh that one yeah so yeah. I mean do you That's, feel that, that one's way different than do you feel that the way that you sing the way that you know you you do your melodies like kind of change I feel like there's actually on the next project a lot a lot more like just going like going off okay and I think like so far all my projects have been really based on like very emotional and very like sensitive and stuff like that but my new ep i want it to just be very empowering like i just want to be a badass and you know my first ep center of expression was about heartache and it like i was like very broken at that time spaces i was very empowered and very like thinking of the future i don't even think empowered i was just hopeful and like Plant, dreaming of like the future I have a song called Los Angeles talking about like someday I'm gonna be in Los Angeles I don't know how I'm gonna get there but I will yeah. and that whole like spaces represents like the spaces in my heart of opportunity and now my next project is just kind of like I'm here and like let's fucking go I like that yeah I like, well I can't wait oh I can I can hear it already yeah. I can hear it. Let's I just won't it. tell. No, I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> this is why you're the artist. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't wait for that. Um, hopefully shows in L.A., at least like a showcase, for maybe sure. something. For sure. Tours coming up maybe sometime soon. Festivals, I don't know. We'll see. But I need everyone to pay attention to you. No, yeah. Um, if you guys haven't heard her yet, new single's out now. It's called? Written in the Stars. And it's featuring who? PMB Rock. And she's the new artist for who? Oh my gosh, you are ruining me right now. Epic that? Records, come oh. on. Whoa. Come on. Like come on. Okay, just, just check her out. Shout out Epic. Shout out my family at home in Indiana. Shout out to my A&R, Erica Coulter. Shout out to my team. Shout out, shout this, out to This you. is practice for the, for the yeah. Grammy speech. 100%. Grammys 2019, she'll be getting one soon. Ooh. Thanks for watching on Front Row Live, guys. This Thank is you. Lauren Sanderson and Rob. See you guys next time. Yeah. I actually in all seriousness in all seriousness really just want to say thank you um to anyone watching this and if there's one thing that I want you to take away, trust your gut, trust your heart, follow your fucking dreams and be a star.